Hey guys, this is MG with, with another tutorial whether how we can edit, inactive and or delete a vendor's profile in QuickMooks desktop. Well, there comes a time when we find ourselves in a position to change, inactive and in a worst case scenario, delete a vendor's profile. There might be various reasons to inactive or delete a vendor's profile, but doing so will keep the list precise and up to date to those we are doing our business with regularly and consistently. So to edit inactive and delete a vendor's profile, first let me add a vendor's profile with as little info as possible. Well, when a vendor moves from one area to another or for some reason his basic information changes, he wants his customers to update his profile. So to edit a vendor's profile, Either right click on the vendor's name and select edit vendor. It will open the vendor's profile window or you can click on this pencil icon and even you can double click on the vendor's name. In any way you will end up here and whatever the info he wants you to update just go through and change it and then click on ok. Well, sometimes you don't do business with a vendor as frequently as you think it will be or due to some unexpected reasons, the vendor never comes back. In that scenario, you get a choice to keep that vendor showing up in your vendor's list or you can just inactive that vendor to keep the vendor's list to those you do your business with regularly. Let's say you want to inactive that vendor. So either click on this pencil icon again and check this checkbox to inactive that vendor or right click on the vendor's name and select make vendor inactive. Either way the vendor's profile will get inactive and if that vendor starts business again all you need to do is to click on this drop down and select all vendors. It will start showing all vendors whether they are active or inactive. Here the ones you see cross next to them are the inactive ones and to make a vendor active again, either select make vendor active option by right clicking on it or just click on the cross sign to reappear that vendor in the list and then just select active vendors in the drop down. Well for some reasons if you really have to delete a vendor's profile from your QuickBooks desktop, you sure can. Just right click on the vendor's name and select delete vendor and then click on OK to delete that vendor. The vendor will get deleted conveniently if there is no transaction attached to this vendor. Well, if there is, then the QuickBooks will not let you delete that vendor. To make it clear, I'm opening a sample file and adding vendor's profiles there. Now I'm creating purchase orders relevant to those vendors. Now we have some data attached to these vendors and if you want to delete that vendor it will show a message mentioning that this vendor has some balance. That's why the vendor can't be deleted. Instead, it's letting you know, just make that vendor inactive if you don't do your business with this vendor anymore. Anyhow, if you really want to delete that vendor from your QuickBooks, you can either by deleting the attached transactions or assigning the transactions to another vendor. Now, open the purchase order and delete it. And here you can see that this vendor has no transaction or balance attached to his account anymore. And now we can conveniently delete this vendor. Now open the purchase order of this vendor too and assign it to a different vendor. And here you can see that this vendor has no transaction or balance attached to his account anymore. And now we can conveniently delete this one too. Anyhow, deleting a vendor's profile by assigning the transaction to another vendor is not the best practice and it should be avoided. And I hope this will be helpful for someone out there and thanks for watching.